today, white materials are everywhere. This goes from the wall paint behind us to the pharma pill coating or even the food that we eat. It's a $60 billion industry dominated by one material, titanium dioxide. However, these are heavy metal based nanoparticles that has been classified as potentially cancerogenic and therefore are taken out by regulators, especially in the health sensitive markets. I'm Lucas Certo, I'm the CEO and co-founder of Impossible Materials, a spin-off company from the University of Fribourg. And I founded Impossible Materials with uh, Oliver Polther, a serial entrepreneur, and uh, Professor Silvia Mignolini, a um, professor at the University of Cambridge. We develop a safe and sustainable white pigment made from cellulose, which is um, to be used in especially health sensitive markets where there's a lack of natural and high performance white pigments. We use um, cellulose extracted from biomass and turn it into high value ingredients. Our first product is a white pigment um, and we have a, a chemical process that is um, really um, allowing to also be much more sustainable than current production processes of white pigments. So we enable our customers working towards a circular economy by providing them a, a degradable material that has been extracted in a sustainable way. We're in the phase of um, uh, closing a funding round that will enable us to build a pilot production of our material to work with a larger range of customers um, in the health sensitive sectors to ultimately bring out our product in the next few years um, in these markets and then expand maybe in large scale markets like painting coatings. Venturekick has been incredibly supportive far beyond just the financial support we appreciate a lot the attention we got uh, both for um, uh, investors as well as clients um, and um, believe the process has also allowed us to improve our business and uh, value proposition. So I believe it's very important to test the product out early in the market and um, uh, to, to really get a lot of feedback on the product as well as um, uh, staying with the vision and the idea of changes are coming, so being resilient and uh, keep pushing their vision forward. Mm -hmm.